let's talk about something else because Lewis is boring. Planned Parenthood has now started this campaign. I defy. <laughs> For people who don't know, Planned Parenthood. Now, when I saw this, I had to do a double take. I thought it was MTV. I thought it was Vox. Because it's like, I don't know if there's like a final cut or an avid for social justice warrior editing software. Mm, there's a plug-in. But it's the exact yeah. same yeah. as like that flash forward Saturday morning cartoon or like McGee and Me. Yeah. Where that, that, <laughs> that cartoon sort of writing combined yeah. with real life. So they sort of I defy. And the whole idea is I defy your social norms. I defy your labels and uh, something about abortion in there somewhere. They did three videos. Let's get into them. Be ready for some feels. Abortion is not a four letter word or something that we shouldn't be talking about. It's a medical procedure. People who think that abortion should be illegal are more likely to think that nobody that they know has ever had one or ever will. You probably do. I don't know. What's the procedure for insufferable bitches? They're still working on that. <laughs> <laughs> John Hopkins hasn't working. come around with a, with a firm I can, solution. I can't believe they got to seedless watermelon before that. I know. <laughs> First off, they say procedure, right? Procedure. This is a, a procedure. Let's remove what it is, abortion. And this is an argument the left uses all the time. Well, if you knew someone that way, Morgan Freeman did this with Islam. We'll talk about that later. Well, if you knew a Muslim, that wouldn't be the case. Well, if you knew a black person, you wouldn't feel that way. Well, if you knew someone had an abortion, you, you wouldn't. And then, by the way, if you say, well, if you knew a black person you say but well actually my, my, my half brother is black oh you like that defends you look I have a black friend you just set it up so, 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 so no matter what someone says yeah. it can't be legitimate this is a social justice warrior way as we talked about with Reza Aslan now that can kind of work I understand for example uh, I, I'm a fan of mixed martial arts and a lot of people go oh, it's a blood sport like Meryl Streep it's a blood sport it's horrible well actually hold on these are the rules and you explain it to them this, this is why it matters a lot of wrestlers from college it's an opportunity mm -hmm. to make a living oh okay I didn't understand that or if you knew someone maybe a paint so you think paintball is silly well maybe if you knew someone well paintball is a great team building experience and oh you know okay I can understand I know you you play paint I have a different perception it's not the same with murder <laughs> 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 that doesn't change the root cause of this Right? The, the problem with people who are, who are against abortion believe that it is murder. So, it, 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 like saying, well, if you knew a pedophile. Like, oh, John, you, you're, you like little kids? Yeah, I kick it. I screw them all the time. You, you screw kids? You screwed four kids? What are you, just small world. Ah, you know, I guess I, guess I had a wrong perception of <laughs> pedophiles who screw kids, John. I know, I know, we get a bad rap. That doesn't happen. You can't apply it to something that involves uh, morals and ethics to a deeply, deeply rooted issue, uh, it, 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 just, it just doesn't apply. It's not like a hobby. It's not like a haircut. It's not like facial piercings. It's not like taste in music. They apply this all the time. They, they, they take something that sounds relatively logical. Well, I guess if you knew you'd behave differently. No, it doesn't apply to murder. Now, whether you believe abortion or mur is murder or not, that's fine. That's a legitimate discussion we can have. You can't have it with someone like this because they go, well, it's not murder. It's not, there's not murder. It's a procedure. Well, let's discuss what that procedure is. Let's discuss when there's a beating heart. Let's discuss when there's a central, central nervous system. Let's discuss when it should occur if you believe in abortion during the pregnancy. Remember, it used to be abortion. I think Hillary Clinton spouted this line. Abortion mm -hmm. should be safe, legal, and rare. And rare. Now it's abortion on demand at any time, period. And we're going to create a video with little graphics about it as a part of a campaign that really sucks because there are more videos, if you can believe it. Finally, emojis represent the fact that not all of us are the complexion of sand. Now every time I clap, it's my hands clapping. Blackest Russian emoji. I can give you the brown girl painting her fingernails. Yeah! Well, we answered the question of <laughs> purple-haired, one-handed, black clapping. <laughs> Any emojis yet for purple hair and purple-haired, insufferable, entitled millennials? Yeah. They're yellow people. It's, it might as well be the Joe Boxer branding campaign. It's a bumper sticker. Does anyone expect emojis to be representative of, of like an accurate, an accurate depiction of, of the human form? Is that the expectation? About as much as I thought of cat dog as a real animal planet <laughs> special. <laughs> 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 smile, an emoji used to be smile face, neutral face, frowny face, and they were all yellow faces. Nobody cares. It, 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 this is the new frontier for racial equality. Emojis that, ha that don't exist. It's not a real thing. They're in your phone, and they're just shortcuts because that way I don't have to hit colon circle. I don't have to hit colon end parentheses. That's why they exist. 
They don't exist to oppress you, purple-haired, facial-pierced, social justice-likely lesbian. I assume that's how you got this job. That's usually... <laughs> What comes with the territory? That is the battlefront for racial equality today. Mm. Also, there aren't enough black people on The Simpsons. Next clip. I am a bisexual male. Bisexuality exists. It is not your job to sift through all of my thoughts and then verify my bisexual status. It is your job to hear me say the sentence, I am a bisexual man, and for you to go, okay. Firstly, I don't believe you. Do you suck <laughs> Are you a Peter Pepper? Sir, no, sir! Uh, I, I, I really... I know you were trying to predict this, and you'll say this response is typical. I, I, I'm not, not buying it. I bet you're the kind of guy that would f*** a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. I think that's an accurate assessment to make. I just... If, if, here's the thing. We'll even do a Maury Povich. I don't know how we would do the test on air. If you can find me one girl and verifiably prove that it's not a beard... I'll, I'll, I'll give you the studio. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir! Bullshit, I'll bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. I also love how this bisexual, <laughs> cute, thinks that removing his shirt is somehow going to add legitimacy to this video. I didn't think about that. Who's the wardrobe stylist? It's like, okay, well, we don't want something that vibrates on camera, do you? I'm gonna go shirtless to prove that I'm not totally gay. Mm. No. And isn't it the social justice thing here? It's your job. It's your job to just take what I say, mm-hmm, and just accept it. Like, well, hold on a second. What if, I have, what if I'm curious about bisexuality? Like, how do you go one day from having sex with a woman to a sweaty man's buttocks? I, I, I'm curious. Can I ask a question? No, it's your job to say yes and accept what I tell you. That's exactly what it is with Reza Aslan. Oh, people who disagree with me, they're just bigoted, and, and bigotry is impervious to information or facts. Here, maybe someone has a legitimate issue to bring up or a question. No. No one really cares. If you're, if you're bisexual. And when this guy is announcing I'm bisexual or, or homosexual, as will likely be the case in, within the coming decade in this gentleman, if they say I'm a homosexual, I, I, I'm bisexual, what they're really telling you, they're not saying I'm a gay boating enthusiast. They're not saying I'm a big fan of bisexual soccer. They're telling you their preference of sexual friction. This man is doing it on the outset. That's his handshake. That's his introductory <laughs> <laughs> experience to the Planned Parenthood bisexual. That's why people find it annoying. That's why people get uncomfortable because no one really cares. And no one wants to know that within the first five or 10 minutes of knowing. We can tell that you're gay. That's more like third date material. It's more like third date yeah. material, which usually you find out anyway, especially if you're in a third date with Jared. He, he, people get uncomfortable with it because people don't want to immediately know your sex life. It's something personal and intimate. And you know what? I know you'll say straight privilege. Straight people don't feel the need to do that immediately upon meeting you. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Um, Jason, thanks for coming in today. Uh, Edward. Um, well, let's get started. I'll show you around. So I just wanna let you know before any of this starts that I really like having sex with women. Straight sex. Okay. Um. I get it. Um, uh, but let's. But uh, do you really? I, I just need you to know this defines me. It's very important that I have lots of sex, straight sex. My love for vaginas defines me. It's important you know that. Okay. Um, I follow. Um, let's no, no, but see, I don't think you do. Because I heard in your voice there a little bit of lack of acceptance, maybe. Maybe some intolerance. I need you to know that this penis loves, can't get enough of, exclusively female vagina. And it's your job to understand that, salute and march out, accept it. This penis, vaginas. All day, air day. Okay, um, I understand, but can we get on with the job interview? Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran entering that promo code, it's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.